Okay, so today we're going to be reducing radicals again, but if you notice on these, we have leading coefficients, so numbers out in front of all of these, but it's totally fine. So we're going to start off like what we did yesterday. So we're going to take our 180, so see how it's not a perfect square, and we're going to write him out, and we're going to factor tree our 180. So 180 is 10 and 18, and then 10 is 2 and 5, and 18, we have a few different options for that one. So let's do three and six, and six is two and three. Okay, so now it's really important to write your numbers from least to greatest. So we've got two, two, three, three, and five. So we're looking at all of our leaves, so all of the end of these. Okay, so now we want pairs of them. We want twins. So I have a pair of twos and a pair of threes and then one five. So my five is going to get trapped and that'll be the only number under my radical. So I'm going to have my five under here. And since it's a square root, I don't need to put a number on my shelf. Okay, now we already have a number out in front here, this cute little negative four. So you're going to just bump him a little bit more forward and we're going to do what we did on the last worksheet when we had two terms like this. So we're going to use the same operation. So we multiply by the one that we take out and the other goes away. And the same here, we're going to multiply by this one and the other goes away. So now in front, we're going to do negative four times two times three, and that gives us negative 24. And these will not reduce for you on your calculator. You have to do them by hand. So negative 24 root five is your final answer. Okay, so it's the same idea, but you already have a number out in front, so you're just going to be multiplying each time. So let's go again. Number three. So we've got 256. So the first thing we've got to do is factor tree this guy. So 256 divided by 16. Oh man, that worked. Sometimes I don't get so lucky. Um, you just keep trying until you get whole numbers, but these can all be simplified down. So uh, make sure that you're always checking. So 256 is 16 and 16, and 16 is 4 and 4, and 16 is also 4 and 4. So my 256 is made up of 4, 4, 4, and 4. Um, I'm looking for triplets this time, so I have three 4s. One will come out, and the other two go away. So this 4 is trapped underneath my radical. Since I already have a 3 out in front, I'm going to multiply my 3 times my 4 that escaped. Then it's a cube root, so don't forget to put your 3 on your shelf and my four is stuck underneath. Three times four is 12, so we always have to make sure we simplify with our four stuck in our radical. Okay, again, number five, 150. So 150 is 10 and 15, and 10 is two and five, and 15 is three and five. So I've got two, three, five, and five. I'm looking for pairs because there's no number on my shelf, so it has to be a two. I have a pair of fives. One five goes out, the others go away. Okay, so I already have a negative five out here, so I'm gonna put him down and multiply him by my five that escaped. It's a square root, so I don't need a number on my shelf, and I have a two and a three left over. So remember, we're multiplying our leftover pieces. Negative five times five is negative 25, and two times three is six. Okay, another one, 27. So 27 reduces to nine and three, and nine is three and three, and we want a square root. So I've got three threes of them. I just need a pair. One goes out and the other goes away. So I'm going to multiply my leading three by the one that escaped and keep underneath my three that got stuck, trapped. Negative three times three is negative nine root three. Okay, hold on, let me check the back. It looks like the back is really similar to the front, so just keep doing the same things. It doesn't matter if there's a negative or a positive, um, but there's lots of practice for you to have. If you have any questions, please let your teachers know. Have a great day. Bye!